another lesson. Welcome everyone. To start today's lesson, I have an activity for you. It is like this. This is my environment. You are going to look around and tell me some of the things that you can see. Look carefully. What are some of the things you can see? I can see building. I can see people. I can see car. I can see numbers. No, tell me which one occurs the most. I think it is number. Are the numbers that you can see all around you, miss? You are perfectly right. Numbers are all around me. Did you know that numbers are all around us? And we use them in our daily activities. Yes, we use numbers when calling a member of a family or a friend when using a mobile phone. Secondly, when calculating your daily budget for your food, transportation, and other expenses. Also, you use numbers when telling the time. In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at numbers. Janet Gordon and welcome back to my educational channel. Yes, educated as eliminates gender inequality, softer peace. Before we go any further, let us know what a number is. A number is a mathematical object used to count, measure, and label. When we do math, we work with different types of numbers. This makes math become easier. Now let's look at some types of numbers. The first one is counting numbers. These are the numbers we use to count. For example, one, two, three, four, five. Please note, we don't start counting from zero. We start at one. The second one is all numbers. Zero. One, two, three, four, five. These are examples of old numbers. Counting numbers along with zero form all numbers. Remember, all numbers starts at zero. 
The next one is even numbers. These are all numbers that can be divided evenly by two. If you have a large number and you don't know if it is even, you can look at the last digits. If it is zero, two, four, six, or eight. Then it is even. Let's look at some examples. Now let's look at some examples of even numbers. They are 2, 4, 6, and 8. We have some circles. We are going to count them. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight. Let's divide them by two. Here's a group of two. Here's a group of two. Here's a group of two. And here's a group of two. We don't have any left. Here we have some faces. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six. Now let's divide them by two. Here's one group of twos, another group of twos, and another group of twos. We don't have any left. So, 6 and 8 are even numbers. Odd numbers are those old numbers that cannot be divided evenly by 2. Let's look at two examples. Here we have some X. Let's count to see how many they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is seven. Now we are going to divide them evenly by two. Now we have one group of twos, another group of twos, Another group of twos, another group of twos, and we have one left. So this is to show that seven is an odd number. It's as a remainder. Here is our next example. One, two, three, four, five. We have five here. We are going to divide them by 2. Now let's look at it. Now we have one group of 2, another group of 2, and we have a remainder. So 5 is an odd number. Here is a little secret. If you have a big number and you don't know if it is odd, you can look to see if the last digit is 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. Now we are going to look at cardinal numbers. Cardinal numbers are those numbers which are used to tell how many things are in a group. Let's look at these examples. Group 1 has 6 in it. Group 2 has 4 in it. The numbers 4 and 6 are cardinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers are those numbers which are used to identify position. 
Here are some examples. I am going to say the first five for you. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Remember, numbers are all around us and we use them daily. Do you know that symbols used to represent a single number is called a digit? Yes, D-I-G-I-T, digit. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are called digits. Digits 0 to 9 are used to make other numbers. For example, 9 is one digit, that's 9. 87 is two digits, 8 and 7. 567 is three digits. Five, six, and seven. Eight thousand two hundred and forty-three is four digits. Eight, two, four, and three. This is my object chart. Each number has a number name. For example, this is thirty-four. The number name is at the bottom. 34 is a two digits number. This is numeral 4. The number name is to the bottom. It is a one digit number. We have now come to the end of our lesson. Please remember to like, share, Leave your comments and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Numbers are around us, around us, around us. Numbers are around us, they are around us. Numbers are around us, around us, around us. Numbers are around us, they are around us. 